Well, I was going to do a bigger video today. Um, but I'll do a bigger one in the morning instead. So, in the meantime, while I wait to do a bigger video on my top thousand tomorrow, uh, there's only three videos left on that playlist, so I may get that playlist finished now so I can concentrate on other things. I'm adding my next Boxing Librarian Hall of Fame editions. This is um, Volume 4. Another 10 fighters are going in my Hall of Fame. Uh, my Hall of Fame is finished for now. I just need to go back and have a double check on names not in there. But in this video, okay, the latest 10 fighters joining the BL Hall of Fame are... Great middleweight king, Carlos Monzon, okay, who had an 80-fight unbeaten run. He's unbeaten in title fights, unbeaten against champions, Hall of Famers, um, and his like in his career. Um, fantastic middleweight fight, one of the greatest middleweights of all time, and probably one of the hardest middleweights of all time to beat at his best um, in any fantasy fight scenario. Meanwhile, the next fighter joining is the Ghanaian professor, Azuma Nelson, the former featherweight and then longer reigning um, two-time super featherweight champion of the world, Azuma Nelson, but one of the most powerful featherweights and super featherweights I have ever seen, and has a large um, decorated title fight history, being a three-time champion in two divisions. Next is Maxi Rosenblum. Now, on my channel, no introduction is needed for the great Rosenblum. He's one of the greatest fighters of all time. He actually has entered in my automated top 10 um, greatest boxers of all time, pound for pound, with a record of 145 fights against top 10 rated fighters dozens of fights against champions hall of famers um, fighting across light heavyweight and heavyweight Maxi Rosenblum is certainly one of the greatest fighters of all time and thus a fairly automatic entry. Well, it's not automatic, it's based on criteria, but trust me, that criteria was crushed. Uh, next uh, offering is Evander Holyfield, okay, the former undisputed cruiserweight and four time heavyweight champion of the world who is also a three time unified heavyweight champion of the world it's ridiculous there's a video coming up on the accomplishments um, feats and runs for Evander Holyfield once I clear some of these other playlists so I can focus more on the newer ones uh, but Evander Holyfield um, definitely entered into my Hall of Fame again crushed all the criteria pretty much um, you know to gain automatic entry next is Black Murderer's Row Fighter Lloyd Marshall who I think still to this day goes a bit underrated amongst the Black Murderer's Row you know to me you could actually rate him over Burley if you wish to based on his resume you know the guy beat an entire pile of Hall of Famers he beat an entire pile of world champions he has a very tough resume, you know, fighting across multiple weights um, up to light heavyweight. You know, Lloyd Marshall, to me, is probably third Black Murderer's Row or second. You know, I have Holman Williams, number one, generally Burley, number two, and then Marshall, number three. Um, but, you know, Lloyd Marshall could slip into top two, potentially. Uh, he was that good. And next, okay, is the great Sugar Ray Robinson himself, a fighter from the era of Lloyd Marshall, Sugar Ray Robinson holds distinction as being one of only two fighters in boxing history to be a five-time champion in one-way division. He was unbeaten, undefeated, um, undisputed welterweight champion at world. Then he was a five-time middleweight champion with over 20 world title fights. Um, a staggering title fight record. Um, you will see when I start adding uh, pre-alphabet era fighters onto my title record um, you know, playlist um, and database. And ultimately... In that title fight record, he also fought a staggering list of Hall of Famers, champions and top dearth opposition um, for the most part. So Sugar Ray Robinson, another automatic entry. Another fighter who easily broke through the criteria to be a Hall of Famer is modern fighter Floyd Mayweather Jr. Um, unbeaten in 24 fights against champions, unbeaten in 26 title fights, you know, winning 11 world titles across five weights and capturing five lineal titles in four divisions, as well as beating many of the top names um, of this modern era from Shane Mosley to Koto to Delahoya, um, you know, on and on. He's also beaten, you know, Zab Judah. Um, he's beaten Ricky Hart and he's beaten Manny Pacquiao. He's beaten Canelo Alvarez. He's beaten Juan Manuel Marquez. Lots of names, lots of victories for Floyd to back up his impressive stats. So next is the explosive thin man, the great Alexis Arguello, okay, who has one of the best knockout records in title fights um, in boxing history for me. Um, scored staggering numbers of chilling knockouts in his title run. Um, um, across three weight divisions from featherweight, super featherweight to lightweight, tried at light well away and failed, um, but ultimately a three weight world champion, an explosive pound pound puncher um, with a fantastic title fight record and lots of good opponents, you know, from Escalera um, to Mancini to Ruben Olivares, um, losing to um, Aaron Pryor twice. 
just a staggering resume um, that Alex Sagueo has. Now, another uh, modern uh, multiweight champion, okay, um, is Marco Antonio Barrera, who back when he fought Nassim Hamed, who he's planted landing a solid left hand on, someone came to me and said, who's going to win this fight? And I said, I think Barrera's going to win. And he were like, you must be crazy. Everybody is picking Hamed. And I said to him at the time, I said, Barrera's been one of the best pound-pound fighters in the world for years. And he, he was. Okay, and Barrera has a fantastic resume, fantastic title fight record, multi-weight champion, um, just a fantastic fighter all round. And, you know, a number of these modern uh, great Mexican champions like Marquez, Morales, Barrera are all going in, uh, have all been, uh, I'll say, inducted into my Hall of Fame. The last name on here, OK, is Joe Old Bones Brown, the long reigning former lightweight champion of the world who prior to Roberto Duran held the lightweight defence number at 11. Duran beat it at 12. But Joe Brown, OK, is undisputed lightweight champion with that multi-year um, lineal undisputed title run. A fantastically large resume for top fighters across the board. Uh, Joe Brown is one of the legitimate top 10 great lightweights of all time in my mind and thus, you know, with his fantastically tough career, um, his great title fight record um, and his legacy setting title fight record, setting records that had to wait a long time to be broken. Joe Brown joins my Hall of Fame. So there's the latest 10 names, people. Um, more videos on many topics coming soon, but a bigger one tomorrow on my top thousand. I'm out for now.